Hello everyone, how are you doing today? So we're going to be talking about the battered hilt. Of course, this is an older item, so why should we care about this? Well, of course, you can sell it for a lot of money in the auction house. I've seen it range from anywhere from 50,000 to 100,000 gold, of course, depending on your server. But other than that, there are some cool transmog items, such as Keldalar. It's a one-handed and a two-handed sword. Looks like it has some pretty good craftsmanship. You know, some nice etchings on this blade here. But of course, if you don't use swords, we have other options like the cool jewel of Furious Justice, a one-handed mace, a nice gold and purple color combination going on there. We also have another mace called the Hammer of Putrefied Flame. Kind of aspect of a dragon going on, some nice glow effects. And then we also have a two-handed mace called the Lightborn Spire. I couldn't show you on the rogue, so just switch characters here, show you this two-handed mace. All these options are decent choices but Keldalar seems to be the best in my opinion. So if you look down here the bottom left hand of the screen and on the map that is the entrance to the Ice Crown Citadel raid where you fight the Lich King of course but we're not focused on that we're focused on the three dungeons. Of course it's going to be up here on this platform as you can see down this hallway as you come over here you'll see the three dungeons. So on the left is the Forge of Souls, the middle is the Hall of Reflections and the right is the Pit of Saran. So all of the mobs, excluding the bosses, have a chance to drop the Battered Hilt, which is about a 1%. So you don't want to kill the bosses, you just want to kill the mobs. In my opinion, the Pit of Saran is the best choice because it's the easiest to farm. The Halls of Reflection is kind of slow because it has like a 5 minute cutscene thing going on. And then the Forge of Souls is kind of slow pace, you know, extended out. You can't get on your mount. In Pit of Saran, you can go on a mount and get all the mobs racked together to kill them. So here's a quick clip of the Halls of Reflection. As you see, you walk in here. It has a whole story behind it with Sylvanas. She tries to get the blade. You'll see the Lich King. And then you have to wait for the Spirit Waves to summon. You see on the left and the right, the two bosses. For a total of 10 Spirit Waves. Which is just the mobs that you have to kill. So these 10 Spirit Waves. These are the guys that are going to be dropping the Battered Hilt in the Halls of Reflection. If I pull up the map here, you're going to see... The whole dungeon of course. So this area is going to be the spirit waves that drop the battered hilt. And right there where the mouse is is one additional enemy that drops it. But nothing else in this dungeon will drop it. So you don't really want to waste your time going through it. So now this is the Forge of Souls. You know, I guess the second best option. But I don't really suggest it because it's kind of a, a long walk. And all the enemies are kind of spread out. Just not very time efficient in my opinion. But one good thing about it though, if you do decide to come here... At the end, it's going to have a portal that goes to the Pit of Saran, which is the dungeon I suggest that you farm. So here you go, Pit of Saran. Go ahead and mount up. And I'll show you this map of how I usually go about this. So I usually stay in this kind of first area, this circle here. I usually gather all the mobs there rather than the whole dungeon, because what I notice is that some of them kind of path back and it kind of wastes time. So I'm going to start off with you know the beginning circle that I showed there I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys together so you kind of have to stand on them because they won't aggro you because this is a lower level dungeon of course and at level 120 can be kind of hard to aggro them anyways so here's the first pool that I'm doing here you kind of just gather them all together and then you'll see the gargoyles right here at the corner and that's what I consider the first wave or the first pool to get them all racked up together and then of course it's easy to AOE them down and it's a lot of mobs so you know you have a lot of chances for this thing to drop even though it's only about less than 1% for each mob here and you see it doesn't drop there but of course you just keep going throughout the dungeon so you got those guys down and then right over here next to the boss um, this one I usually just go on foot for this because I don't want to pull the boss and kill him easily avoidable and of course you don't want to kill him because after you defeat all the mobs here in the dungeon on heroic mode, you can of course exit the dungeon, reset it, and it'll respawn another group of mobs for you to kill. As long as you don't kill the bosses of course. So once you take care of those guys, go ahead and pull the next wave which is not too many left after that initial pull. And of course after that there's an additional mob if you can reach them depending on your class of course. After you take down these guys. So next to the beginning right here, some classes will be able to do this, like the rogue, I can do that with the grappling hook. 
I'm sure Warrior can in some additional classes, so you get him down and you have an additional chance for that battered hilt. But other than that, like I said before, you go ahead and exit the dungeon, step outside, and of course, you're gonna go to your name right here, right click on your health bar, you're gonna right click, you're gonna reset all instances, and then go ahead and open that chat window so you can see Pit of Saron has been reset because I didn't kill any of the bosses. And then you go back inside and another fresh group of mobs for you to kill for that battered hilt. But anyways, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video.